I am doing a video from my sofa today because I thought maybe you guys were getting tired of seeing my computer room background because I was kind of getting tired of seeing it. Um, I need to do more fun videos. Like I want to like change up my channel some um, because my channel is not a channel that I enjoy watching. Like I enjoy um, making videos when I get a chance and um, but the videos that I enjoy actually watching of other people are more like the kind where you know they're talking to you but they're out and about just doing their day um i just kind of a little nervous to do that kind of video because those people tend to have to be talking out in public and people like stare at them and i'm kind of like shy and <laughs> i don't know don't know if i could do that kind of video with a straight face but those are my favorite kind to watch and um and it seems like those are the kind that a lot of people like to watch. So, I don't know. Maybe I just need to get over my fear of vlogging in public and out and about. Um, I usually just do my vlogs when I'm at home. But I get bored watching my videos just because, you know, I'm always just sitting here talking to you. Uh, but anyways, uh, the reason I'm doing today's video, it's going to be a TTC update. And the reason I'm doing it is because I realized that... Um, before when I've been pregnant, I have never done a um, symptoms video prior to getting a big fat positive. I've done um, symptom videos and then not been pregnant, um, but I've never done a symptom video and then been pregnant. So I don't know what my pre-pregnancy symptoms are, which sucks because when I'm in the two-week wait, you know, I'm thinking oh, I have this, is that a pregnancy symptom? I don't know, because I really can't remember. Like, with Ian, I don't remember having any symptoms whatsoever. Like, none. <laughs> uh, the only one was just a missed period, and I took a test before I even missed my period, so that wasn't even a symptom. Um, I took my test the day that my period was due, and it hadn't arrived that day, so that night I took a test, and it came up positive. So... I really don't know if I have any pre-pregnancy symptoms when I'm pregnant or if I do and I just don't remember them. So, yeah. But I kind of feel like I'm jinxing myself because whenever I've done pregnancy symptom two-week wait videos, um, you know, I'm always not pregnant. So I kind of feel like I'm jinxing myself. So I kind of don't want to do this video. But I want to have it so that, you know, I just want to have it. <laughs> documented. So anyways, this is going to be my two-week wait possible pregnancy symptoms video. Uh, let's see. The first pre-pregnancy symptom I think I had was implantation pinching. Um, I Again, like I said, I don't remember having this with Ian, but um, about three or four DPO this cycle, I was laying in bed and I was just kind of, you know, playing on my iPad or my iPhone, I don't remember which one, and suddenly I got this very sharp, distinct pain in one spot. It was like to the left, right above my bikini area, and it just felt like something like stabbing me from the inside or like a digging pain feeling, like mostly like a stabbing. It was very distinct and it hurt. Um, but it wasn't anything that made me, like, curl up into the fetal position or anything like that. It was a manageable pain. But it was just, like, in one spot. Like, like, like a pencil poke in from the inside. So I had that. And it lasted about 45 minutes. And then I don't remember when it went away. Because after 45 minutes, I was done playing on my iPad. I fell asleep. The next day, throughout the day, I kind of felt that same pinching spot. And it was in the exact same spot. Um... And then it kind of, you know, was off and on during the day. And then that night, again, I felt it same spot when I was laying down. And um, and then after that, I didn't feel that pinching pain. And my next possible pregnancy symptom was a backache. All day yesterday, uh, I had super bad backache. Um, it was just kind of my whole back, mostly in my lower back area, but it was just kind of like my whole back. And I would say pain scale was about a four and a half, five, and I just kind of wanted to lay on the ground all day just because my back hurts so bad. And um, I feel like that's something I would remember with Ian, and I know every pregnancy is different, but I just feel like I would have remembered that. But um, yeah, today, um, again, my back has been hurting, but this time not my whole back, just my lower back. 
Um, and today it hasn't been as painful. It's been more of like a three on a pain scale. Um, I'm still having a little bit of that now. Uh, the past few days I've had little waves of nausea, but they've been so light that they were hard. It was hardly noticeable. It wasn't anything like weeks into um, being pregnant with Ian where I felt like heavy nausea. Like it wasn't like that. It was just like, hmm, I kind of feel a little nauseous. Um, and it was mostly at night when I was laying in bed and like I'm having a little bit right now. It mostly happens in the evenings. Um, but it's very, very mild. Like, I wouldn't... It, it's so mild that I don't even know if I want to mention it. But just little waves of... Ugh, that doesn't feel good. <laughs> Moodiness. That's a big one this weekend. I was so moody. I felt like PMS to the max. Although, it is a, like, week before my period. So I could just be PMSing. But I just... Everything Neil did was pissing me off everything um he like i remember i asked him for the password to our wi-fi and then he was like why do you need the password and i was like i just need it what is it and he was like well why do you need it and oh my gosh i got so angry at him i oh it was it was irrational anger at him asking me why i needed the wi-fi password just like just give it to me damn it um, so there was that, and then later on in the day, I was in the kitchen, and he was in the living room, and he said something to me, but I couldn't hear him. Um, it, it just sounded like mumbling, so I asked him to repeat what he said, and again, he mumbled it in the same tone. He didn't try to say it clearer and louder, and so I was like, if you're just going to mumble it, then I don't even care to hear it, Like, and that is so not me. I don't like saying mean things to him like that. But I was just so irritable yesterday. And it wasn't just at Neil. I was irritable at Ian. I just, with Ian, I didn't act out on it. But um, even today, I've been very irritable. I've been feeling irritable with Ian. I haven't, be, I haven't been being irritable with him, but I've been feeling irritable. Um, you know, just with little things that would normally just make me happy. Again, this is how I get around my period, though. So this could be a total PMS symptom. But just silly things like... He'll be sitting on the potty, going potty, and instead of just wiping and flushing in a reasonable matter of time, he'll be sitting there swinging the bathroom door, opening clothes, and I'll be like, are you done yet? Do you want some tissue? And he'll start singing a song <laughs> or whatever, and I just, like, inside I can just feel a bubbling up of just, hurry up! <laughs> so there's that. Uh, tonight I felt a little headachy. Um, yesterday I felt tired all day. Despite Neil letting me sleep in, I still felt just kind of tired all day long. But anyways, those are all, like I said, they're all pregnancies. I'm sorry, they're all period symptoms for me as well. Um, I do not have sore boobs. I remember I got that with Ian, but I don't think I got it in early pregnancy. I think it was later. I really don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I remember it being later in my pregnancy because I don't remember mentioning it in any of my earlier pregnancy vlogs. And I don't have sore boobs now. I do get them around the time when my period is supposed to come, so even if I did have them, I wouldn't know if it was a pregnancy symptom. Um, Craving. I, I don't know if this is a craving necessarily, but it's something I never eat, ever. I've never eaten this together, this combo, but suddenly it seems awesome to me, and I've just been chowing down on it, but blueberries and whipped cream, I just, I don't know, I just don't dip fruit in whipped cream usually, and if I am going to dip something in whipped cream, it's going to be a strawberry, um, but the other day I just felt like I needed whipped cream and no not whipped cream cool whip it had to be cool whip I had whipped cream and it was good but it just wasn't hitting the spot it had to be cool whip so I went out and got cool whip and um I was dipping strawberries in it and that just wasn't hitting the spot but then I had blueberries in the fridge so I started I dipped a blueberry in there which I don't even know why I thought to dip a blueberry in there but at that moment I just thought man a blueberry dipped in this would be like awesome I've never eaten blueberries dipped in whipped cream, or in Cool Whip, but oh my gosh, that first bite was like, it was like an epiphany, like that's it. <laughs> I had this idea in my head of what would taste awesome, and that was it. And um, so I've been eating that for two days now, 
also I was at the grocery store and the little Debbie's Swiss rolls looked pretty awesome so I got the big value box and they're gone now I just bought them last night and they're gone now I ate a value sized box to myself and it was awesome and it was delicious and I'm thinking about them again now and that I should probably go get some more. But anyways, so those are really the only two things that um, I've been eating that I normally don't eat. I never buy little Swiss Miss rolls. Not to say that I wouldn't like them, but again, the Swiss Miss, the Swiss, little Swiss Miss roll, whatever they're called. They were called Ho-Ho's when it was Hostess, but whatever. Um, that could be a period symptom because it's chocolate and whenever I'm on my period I always want chocolate so that could be a period symptom I'm hoping it's not though um I think we did really good this cycle um I got I can show you I took one pregnancy test um yesterday at 8 dpo and I was pretty positive it was going to be negative and it was um so sad face but um let me show you there we go. Okay. So, these were my ovulation tests. Um, this was the first day I took it. I don't remember what day any of these were. Um, but I think I ovulated on cycle day 12 or 13, and that was this middle one right there. And as you can see, the test line is darker than the control, so I'm pretty sure that was my surge. And then I got these two also positives because they're the same color. Um, so three days of positive ovulation tests. And then this was my this green one was my pregnancy test from yesterday, which as you can clearly see is negative. <laughs> but I couldn't help it. I'm a Piona stickaholic, so I had to. But anyways, um, so we baby danced. Uh, a day or two like prior to getting my um, positive ovulation test we baby danced those two days before and then we baby danced on the day I got my positive ovulation test strip and then we baby danced two or three days following that so there was like five or six days of just non-stop baby dancing <laughs> So I, I'm pretty sure we caught an egg if there was one in there, um, or at least, you know, we have a really good chance of doing so, I hope. And yeah, I just really hope this is our cycle. I really, really hope. Um, I would love to be pregnant, obviously, I'm trying to conceive. Um, but uh, yeah, so today I'm on, I have no clue what cycle day I'm on. I'm sorry, I should have counted that out before I started this video. No clue what cycle day I'm on, but I am, well, it's because I said it's, it's midnight, so technically I'm 10 B DPO. Um, so that's exciting. The next time I'm going to test is going to be 12 DPO, so let's see what it'll be today. Today's technically Tuesday, so Wednesday, Thursday. I'm going to test Thursday. Um, I have one pregnancy test left, and I just ordered a bunch more um, because of I am pregnant, I am a Piona stickaholic, and I've been waiting a year and a half for this positive, so if I get a positive, I'm just going to keep taking pregnancy tests, <laughs> just so I can keep seeing a positive. Um, but uh, yeah, I got it as like a little package deal, so it comes, I think it came with like 30 ovulation tests, and 10 pregnancy tests, so if I am pregnant, then maybe I can do a giveaway or something with my ovulation tests and whatever pregnancy tests I don't use. Um, but if I'm not, then, you know, I guess I'll need the ovulation tests. But we're going to stay positive, people. We're going to be pregnant this month. Yes! <laughs> Anyways, so that's all going on with me and the um, trying to conceive business. Um, two more things I wanted to mention. Number one, I wanted to mention a new channel I found because I love it. It's one of my new favorite YouTube channels. And, um, they don't have many videos up. I think they have, like, 27 total videos up. But they're awesome. Like, I love them. Totally, totally love them. Like, I was really sad when I ran out of their videos. I just found them, like, yesterday or the day before yesterday. And I just literally sat down and watched all their videos. 
Um, and I was really sad when I got to the last one. But they are Style by Ellie. I will put a link down below so you can check them out. Trust me, you won't regret it. You will love them. Um, it's a lady named Ellie and her husband Jared, and they do videos together. And... Um, she is pregnant with their first, but don't watch it from the recent ones. Go back, watch it from the beginning, because when you see that um, pregnancy announcement video, you're going to cry, because I did. Um, I've watched the video actually a couple times, and I've cried both times. It was awesome. Um, but yeah, they had a pretty awesome pregnancy journey, and they are just too cute, and they're so funny. They are so funny. Uh, so yeah. Um, check them out if you want an awesome channel. If you don't want awesomeness, then by all means, don't check them out. But if you're looking for some awesomeness, go check out their channel. Like I said, you will not regret it. Um, another thing I wanted to ask you guys was, what is your favorite pregnancy movie? Because when I'm in my two-week wait, that is like my ultimate favorite thing to do, is I just like to sit down, veg out on the couch, and watch pregnancy movies. So some that I already have watched and I own and stuff are Baby Mama, Juno, Knocked Up, What to Expect, love that one. Um, actually, I love all the ones I've just mentioned. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, there's one on Netflix. It's an instant watch, and it's called Misconception. And I won't say it's the best movie in the entire world, but... I enjoy pretty much any pregnancy movie when I am in my two-week wait, so I really enjoyed that one. Um, there's The Baby Makers is on Netflix. Uh, there's She's Having a Baby. There's Nine Months, Father of the Bride Part 2. Um, oh, what's that one with Molly Ringwald? Oh my gosh, I love that one. Uh, for Keeps. Oh, I love For Keeps. So those are all my favorite pregnancy movies so if I did not mention your favorite pregnant movie pregnancy related movie or even if it's like a new mom movie like a woman just gives birth and it's like you know first time mom let me know below please list them below because I need some more pregnancy movies I am a, a woman on a mission to watch every pregnant movie I can so if you know of a pregnant movie that I did not watch or yeah that I did not mention please leave it down below so I can check it out especially if it's an instant watch on Netflix yes please yes please um also um I just finished up my book I have a book you know well you know I always have a book that I'm reading and I just finished it and I need a new one so if you have a pregnancy related book I would really like to hear that too because I also love to read pregnancy related stuffs but let me show you my book collection so that you don't mention the same one um or this so that you don't recommend one that i've already read so here we go okay so ones that i already have read um the other woman by jane green this is an awesome one you would think the other woman is like the other woman but it's actually the guy her mother-in-law it's a really good book and she's pregnant in this one. And then this one is um, Sophie Kinsella. I really like British or like English authors. That's another thing. So if it's an English author, I will love you even more. Um, but Sophie Kinsella, um, mini shopaholic, uh, is when she has her daughter already. But there's one when she's pregnant, and I've already read that one too. Uh, let's see. Are any of these... No, I don't think those are pregnancy ones. Okay. And then we have Knocked Up. I already read this one. And then Baby Laughs. Um, there's Cake in My Future. These are, This is like my baby's, my baby collection here. Um, baby Land. I already read. Um, baby Laughs. And we have Mommy by Mistake. Um, Mommy Tracked. I think those are all my pregnancy books. There's one or two, there's one more that I think I read, but I can't think of the title. So, anyways, anyways, I don't think you can see me. Um, if I did not mention a pregnancy-related book that you enjoy, please also list that down below so I can go to the library and check that out. Um, 
But if you don't know one to suggest to me, then you can go ahead and just leave me a comment letting me know if you've read any of those books. What did you think? Um, and, uh, yeah. Thank you for any comments that you're going to be leaving for me down below. Go check out that channel that I told you about, Style by Ellie. Check them out. And I will talk to you later.